Hi, I'm Sonia. Welcome back to my art YouTube channel. I'm going to do a sketchbook tour of this one. This is a uh, Blick, fairly reasonably priced sketchbook. It's quite, um, it's five and a half by eight and a half inches. I think this is a really nice sort of everyday size and was one that I still like to use a lot. Um, it's a fairly old sketchbook. It's from 2017 I started it. Back then, I think I'd, I'd sort of definitely over the last few years got back into um, drawing a lot. I just, I think I completed a daily drawing project for a year and I was definitely, definitely getting back into art, but I wasn't really keeping separate sketchbooks back then. I was still quite, you know, um, working on the kitchen table and I just kept sketchbooks with, uh, I just filled them up with a lot of different things. I didn't sort of separate out the themes. It's kind of anything goes, but I think I did feel a little bit, it wasn't like a journal. It was, you know, I treated it as a, as a sort of proper sketchbook. So the first page, I kind of like this page. This is like with gouache paint, some um, flowers that I think I'd seen uh, being planted out in the streets nearby. And then, yep, you can see just sketching cups and some irises. I was really into, uh, at that point, drawing, um, I guess I like really loved sort of illustrators and how they um, represented things. So I was always quite trying to draw food items, small food items, but how to make the page interesting. I guess it was like a record of some of the stuff we'd been, you know, if we went out, or had, or had someone over and we got some bunt, is that bunt cake? Uh, yeah, and pumpkin pie, like just drawing items here. Then I've gone on to like just playing around with sort of a doodle page, drawing flowers. So it's interesting. I'm going to go fairly swiftly through this. I mean, it's a bit, I think this is a bit different back then. I was drawing like little tiny, I was really into trying to draw from life, but like, I guess it's like that whole Danny Gregory, draw your life. Um, draw your stuff. So I was drawing mushrooms, food. Yes, yeah, definitely into food. And the Christmas tree. Then I did take the sketchbook out and about with me. So that was a really. Uh, we went to, obviously went to Santa Cruz, and um, the, the kids were small. Like uh, drawing when you've got little kids running in various directions isn't. You, you don't have long. So especially near sea and dangerous areas. So yeah, that was it from Santa Cruz. It's a bit easier when they're lying down, just relaxing. That was from a trip in the winter, some trees. So I tried to make little, yeah, vin I do think vignettes when you draw little, little sketches within a page. I'll always come back to like trying to draw, you know, I'm grateful for that they were, the kids, they have provided me good practice. Um, and then, yeah, it's looking out of a window, a road. So here is the brush. I did do a video previously on a sketchbook tour, a landscape sketchbook. I think it was around this time that I really got into these brush pens, these Pentel refillable as well. Um, brush pens, I've got one on my desk. Let me just grab it. This, These things, I've gone through a few because I think I've lost them. They're, they're, this has been so helpful for me like to do sketching outdoors when you've when you haven't got long because you're maybe keeping an eye on someone or kids or just you've only got a few minutes here's a little bit so i've used a little bit of collage oh i was feeling a bit blue back then so i was obviously still using kind of using a sketchbook depending on how i was feeling um and then little or in little, I think that's like, do you remember those rubbers? There was rubbers that were not in here, we call them erasers, the America erasers that were, um, the kids were like collecting them. So, and I haven't even drawn on the other side and I don't know why. Now I always like to draw on the other side. It is strange looking back at some of these old sketchbooks. Watercolor of a uh, road. I think that's from a photo. Doodling, kids, this pen looks a bit scrappy. Kids asleep and reading. Whoa, using markers and then, that was I think obviously the youngest asleep on the city. I think he was on a quilt, but I'm not sure the quilt was like that. 
Oh, I like this page. I remember doing this. This was fun. Just experimenting with gouache greens. Like I was really into greens, and I think I'd been to um, a museum and they had one of those living walls. So I'd taken a picture. Yep. So even back then, I was drawn to sort of doodling and abstract. Well, I was quite hesitant. Okay, so then I must have taken this to life drawing as well. This is back in there in 2018. Five minute sketches. That's a longer sketch. So yeah, back, I did use sketchbooks for everything. Like I would carry it around and now I, now I have like, I do have a lot of sketchbooks on the go. So I'd probably separate, I tend to separate work out more. I'd probably call this type of sketch but now like an anything goes one. Um, but I, I definitely time was, the kids were a bit smaller um, and I, time was more limited so I think this size was good for back then um, and it didn't, it was low pressure way of just getting a bit of uh, art in when I could. What's this? Oh, this is, then I got into portraits. I found like this sketchy app, where I think I've spoken about before, like the museum app where people post sort of like headshots that then they're happy to be drawn. Okay, on a beach, like sketching the kids on a beach. I kind of like this, I should go back to this, like just breaking up um, a sketchbook page. This jug is, a, I've got that jug in front of me with all my, uh, I have paint, this is a second hand, jug from I think it was from Switzerland like it was a couple of Swiss francs or Swiss franc and I've I like it to keep my pencils in and I have drawn this again and again and again and it's got to a point where like I don't want to draw it as it is now I would just draw the shape you'll have seen maybe in my like loose uh, still life sketchbooks but I use it as a shape as a, a jumping off point for a composition but I think that's then I was enjoying drawing it as it was Oh, front of me, flowers. Oh, I think this is when I got into drawing couples and I then may have set on like Instagram, I actually did invite people. I was like, oh, I'm doing this sort of like Valentine's project. I think I wanted a bit of like happiness, like happy, draw some happy scenes, like people who are couples. So I offered, offered to do like couples portraits and that was quite a fun. I did that as a, like a proper project. But what I did find from that is drawing, making watercolour portraits is actually... I sort of got a bit burnt out in the end from the, um, trying to get exact, draw, getting likenesses in ink pen and watercolour because you can't really, you can't really make mistakes and so it did get a bit frustrating by the end of it. So I probably changed tact and went off in another direction. This was fun, like blossoms, I just tried to do like blossom patterns. I think I found like an image, although did we maybe, oh, I think I broke that vase. That was a vase that we had and I, so some flowers. Yeah, this is by no means one of those like pristine sketchbooks. It's, I mean, but it's like, I'm, I wouldn't go, I'm, this, some pages I'm tempted to go back to and maybe alter, but I'm not going to, this is, I think a record of, of that time. And um, it's interesting, like oh, that page I don't love, but it's interesting to see to see what I was doing then and then how how I was putting things in. I think so that this is twenty eighteen. My I think the youngest would have been about nearly four. Oh, yeah. I love how when kids when they're asleep, like. They just look so relaxed. Oh, this is the, f then I got into, um, I think I've shown some before, uh, like drawing people on patterned backgrounds. But obviously that's an alcohol or I think it's a Sharpie, so it's come through the page. Yep. I think I was getting, I think I was getting a bit bored, like you draw a portrait, but then how can you make it a bit more, you know, I didn't know these people, like, how can I make it a little bit more interesting or give it a different vibe, as it were? Patterns. Very bare sketchbook page. But actually, sometimes there's just some 
sometimes it is a good idea to keep some space around things. Oh, yeah. I love this. Yeah, this colour, this colour for me is always... I do. I suppose we all probably remember like colouring, if we're into colouring and colouring pens when we were little. Like I always remember being so... I didn't have a huge set and I remember being really jealous of someone who... I'd got I'd inherited a colouring book off them, like a neighbour had given me a colouring book. And in this book was they had such lovely pen colours. And I've always, so now whenever I, I always love using that colour. I don't know. It's just sometimes stuff from childhood does come back into our art, I think. Kids. I've written Mary. Oh, this is quite a fine pen for me. So I really got into the cross hatching. Incarnations. I think this is like painting with a. No, is it? Maybe I did do a very loose pencil drawing and then gone on with watercolour. Some pattern. So, yeah, putting a person onto some flowers. Oh, what's this? I've said, obviously, I'm not sure. Sometimes I was a little bit having heavy, like, you know, heavy periods, or I'm trying to remind myself that, that I do not have to share everything. My sketchbook can just be for me. Not everything has to be pretty or finished. So yeah, I think, yeah, then I don't know, maybe I was, I had been sharing on Instagram and maybe I was feeling the pressure like I needed to, sometimes I was putting pressure on myself, which is ridiculous to um, want, I don't know, maybe I wanted every page to be, um, to, I don't know, to be happy with it. But now I know, like, through doing this, through the whole process of keeping sketchbooks, you learn, like, I have learned just it, not to um, get out of your own head, like, get just to enjoy, enjoy the pages. And if you really hate them, if you really don't like a page, you don't, one, you don't have to share it, no one's forcing you. Two, you can, like, glue something over it and cover it up, like, it's your sketchbook. I think the problem is sometimes when we, maybe when we were at school or, what, or certain artists or whatever, there was that advice, oh, you have to keep everything. Like, you should keep... Like, one, I don't know everyone who's got space to keep everything, but there was that whole, um, you know... But, yeah, fine if you're Francis Bacon and, and you're, every single sketch is people going to pour over it. But personally, I don't need to... Um, I probably keep far too much anyway, but I don't need... If I don't like something, it's my work, I'm going to cover up. I actually quite like this one. This is a, I think I made his neck too long, but it's almost like I've exaggerated certain features. Yeah, now I'm very much, I'm trying to be, I'm gonna do what I want to do. It's my art. I mean, people can make suggestions to me for sure. And, um, you know, and I, I do get a lot of ideas from other people, but I don't have to follow uh, what, uh, necessarily other people are doing if it doesn't fit into my way of working is how I'm trying to approach it. I kind of change my stuff um, what I'm interested in every I don't know quite regularly so who knows what I'll be doing next. But isn't that the the joy of art? Oh some, yeah, I like I do really love like these sketches of of the kids bless them like sometimes now I'm like oh can you keep still and occasionally they will try their best to just hold a pose for me which is um and then yeah this one I was when I was thinking should I even share this one because it's so um this page I actually really really liked it it's it's one of now what I'm probably more doing now like it's sort of crazy I was obviously going crazy with mark making and then I decided to stick a banana on top and I don't know it's quite fun it reminds me of those like when people rip down posters or there's posters of layers on and some more bananas <laughs> when in doubt like draw some draw some fruit or bananas uh pattern portrait yeah, and this is the end. And then I think this is a little bit of my, one of my kids did this. And I think I've obviously didn't like the picture underneath it, but yeah, I, was, I don't know what, why I stuck that in. I just really like, maybe it's the abstract image that's 
some of the, tre oh, the trees in the garden. And that is it. Okay, so, yep. Um, hope maybe there's, this is reassuring to you or ideas for you. Um, wherever you are, enjoy your art practice and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.